Alrighty, folks. Well, we have kept you waiting long enough, I think. <laughs> this is going to be a walkthrough of our new Grand Design M Momentum G-Class Model 350G. So we're going to go ahead and start at the back with the garage. Um, this has a massive garage. It's got a 14 and a half foot garage, which is pretty important because our Razor is 12 and a half feet. Um, but it does have the patio rail system in addition to a awning above here. It's a carefree awning, so it'll go in when the wind's too much. Uh, it doesn't have any arms on the side or anything like that. And it's hooked up for um, uh, a rear view camera, in which I have not bought yet because I just didn't think paying $1,200 at the, at the, um, the RV center was worth it um, you can find those online pretty cheap uh, so going into the back side of the garage this has two entry doors it has a garage entry and a main entry and i'll show you that other one in a minute but going into the garage you will quickly see that we have a bathroom in here it's just a nice small place to use the train and then wash your hands especially if you're working out in the garage um, it's got a nice little mirror and a window too, which I love. And also up here, it has a uh, a remote fan, which is pretty cool because it's really high up there. So we could just turn the fan on and it'll open itself. It's really hard to see right now, but the ventilator, the ventilation cover is opening and the fan's turning on. It's really awesome. Then you could manually close the fan and turn it off. So we just turned it off. Uh, it has a total of, let's see, four, it has a total of 16 D-rings, excuse me, 12. It has a total of 12 D-rings. These are rated at 2,500 pounds to tie down the razor. Uh, we got three windows in here and then a Happy Jack bed system. So this unit comes with two queen beds. Um, as you can see it right now, it's it's in the down position for sleeping. Um, and it does come with a table as well. So there's a little table right here that comes out and it actually goes into those three little circles back there. But um, if we want to, we can put this bed all the way up to the ceiling and we can turn these two uh, side couches into couches of these little Things right here they just roll over and then you have a little couch which I think is pretty cool one ladder is for the bed and what the other ladder is for the loft which I will show you that in a second too but um, this does have a place for a television back here and even though we don't have an air conditioner in here we have um, it's prepped it's prepped for air conditioner so we could easily install one all right so going into the main living room We have uh, a pretty cool layout. This is a very typical layout you would see in um, toy hauler fifth wheels. Um, we have our reclining couch here. It has three reclining chairs with heat, massage, um, and then we have a fireplace with our television. And then there up there is the loft bed. It's basically a, a twin size bed and it goes all the way back to the other side of the coach. In this area is our pantry which is pretty huge. Um, tons of storage for food, canned food, chips, cereal, stuff like that. Up there is another storage drawer. It's also pretty big. And then there's a storage drawer above the refrigerator. So this is a 12 cubic foot refrigerator, which is also pretty standard um, in your uh, G series momentums. Your oven, your microwave. It also has a... Um, a cooktop here, uh, overhead fan with a light, and then there's just a ton more storage all on here, and it goes all the way through to the side here. We have our sink uh, with our pull-down faucet, and then underneath the sink is where we also have our trash can, so everything's out of the way. It's really nice and clean. You don't see a lot of buttons everywhere, a lot of switches, which is meaningful. That's exactly how I like to have my RVs. I do not like a ton of switches and stuff. 
Right here is our um, 4.1 Rockford Fosgate system. And then there's two additional speakers on the outside as well. The subwoofer is behind this couch. These are the huge picture windows that are on this um, fifth wheel. And it's just awesome because they let in a ton of light. Uh, and then there's accent lighting um, all around this too. So you really can't, you, I won't be able to turn it on so you can see it because they're very dim. Um, and you can see them a lot better at night. Right here is where our control panel is. So this is where all your switches are. Typically in um, a lot of other fifth wheel toy haulers, you would see all this stuff like on the outside, maybe like on this wall or over here by the door. Uh, it looks kind of messy to me. So I love the way that they basically hid that away. And then there's more storage down here too. Our bathroom is right in this area. So you go up the stairs into the uh, master suite, basically the bathroom. Um, and this is our shower. It's about four feet wide. It doesn't look like it on the camera because the camera is at a wide angle right now. But uh, it's about four feet wide. Plenty of places to put our bath shower stuff and our soaps and Jesse's shampoos and things. Uh, and it does have a rain shower effect and body sprayers too. So that's pretty neat. And then there's some storage in here, which is pretty big for a bathroom. Um, I plan on putting some shelving here and some shelving there so we can just put more stuff in there. And I think it'll be very spacious. And we also have some, some room down here underneath the sink. The vanity is also massive. Just look at all that stuff that we have in there. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And then here's the bath uh, bathroom. Here's the bedroom. So again, tons of storage. Underneath this bed is so much storage. You could probably put about eight to 10 huge storage uh, rubber containers underneath the bed. It's gigantic. And then we have both have our own nightstands. And then this is the closet. So the closet area is here and it's got um, storage drawers down here too. Sorry, I know I look crazy. <laughs> it's so cold out here. Um, it's so weird. This is, weather is normally a lot warmer. But we also can put a TV in here. I got to install that still because we love watching a TV for a few minutes that we're up when we lay down and we fall asleep really fast. Um, but yeah, and then there's this really pretty... Big windows, lets in a ton of light in here. Um, air conditioner up there. There's another air conditioner in the living room. Um, stepping outside, this is the main den entry door. Um, we have our outdoor speakers. And then here is all of our storage area. So this is a pass-through storage. Um, it goes all the way through. And then in the front, we have some more storage. Um, you can get a generator installed in here. We didn't. Oh, that's locked. I'm not going to open it, but um, we use all this for storage. Now there's just a ton of it. And then over here on this side is our wet bay. And that's locked too, and I'm not going to unlock that. Um, over here <laughs> also is our gas station. Uh, ladder to climb up there. And then that's basically it. So essentially, this is the trailer uh, that we went out and got this past weekend. We're super excited to use it. We're going on a trip this weekend with our friends who just got home from walking their pup across over there next to us and uh, couldn't be happier. So if you are not subscribed to our channel, we do have also a YouTube channel. We post all of our videos on there, but we wanted to share this with our Facebook friends first. Um, Y'all have been here for a long time following us, watching us do cool stuff, and we just thought it was cool to be able to share this with you and uh yeah so we're looking forward to um sharing more content with you guys um please post questions comments concerns we'd love to talk to you guys and i guess we'll check you next time